beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I decided to do a first impressions video once again. I know you guys are probably getting sick of them, but I just keep buying more makeup and so I might as well show you guys what I'm getting and how I think they are. But who doesn't love spoiling themselves every now and then? I, I did a massive shop at Sephora the other week, so I just thought I might as well show you guys what I got. I didn't get exactly a full face of first impressions. I do have some products I have tested out, but I just haven't showed you guys yet. So I'll be showing you guys some products that I've been loving lately and some new products I got at Sephora. But yeah, if you guys like my videos or want to see more, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you guys have any other video suggestions you want me to post on my channel, then just comment down below as well. Don't be shy, I don't buy it. But yeah, if you guys want to see how this product's going to turn out, then just keep on watching. The first thing I brought, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but... I brought the Benefit The Great Brow... Brow... Brow Pronouncer. Am I even saying that right? I don't know how to pronounce that. But this packaging is so freaking cute, really. Like, it's a little clip here, and then like little doors, and they open up to the products inside of them. So I'm probably like blinding you guys. But it comes with, it comes with the Volumizing Microfiber Brow Gel, the Brow Mapping Tool, the Cabral Benefit Brow Pomade, the Taming and Shaping Kit, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, the Highlight and Lifting Pencil, and a spoolie and a brush. So that came to $99. But guys, I don't think that's that bad at all. I think that's a pretty good bargain, like $99 for like, all of that. Are you kidding me? That's so good. So I decided I'm going to try this out because I've never tried Benefit Brow products before which I don't know why because there's such a big hype over them and everyone says how amazing they are I just haven't gotten on the trend yet but yeah I thought I'll try these out for you I decided for my brows I'm going to use the Cabral Eyebrow Pomade I got this in the shade number 3 so it comes with a brush and I'm just going to pop it in the lid this is what the shade is. I have a feeling it's going to be too light for me. But if it is, I'll just use a different product. This is one brow done. And i got to say, I am in love with how it turned out. I also used the brush from the lid. And for a little brush, it is amazing. So I'm just going to do the other eyebrow off camera and I'll be right back. This is how my eyebrows ended up turning out and I am obsessed with the result. To finish them off, I'm going to be taking the Gimme Brow Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. I'm just going to brush these through my brows. I did go ahead and prep my eyes off camera just to save us some time. And I use the Makeup Revolution Concealer for eyeshadow today. I will be testing out the Huda Beauty Obsession palettes. I did get two. I got the Smoky and the Mauve, the Mauve palette. But I'll only be using the Smoky ones today as the Mauve one is broken because it got sent to me broken. So I do have to go send that back, unfortunately. But yeah, I've been using the Smoky palette today, which I'm very excited for because I've heard such amazing things about these palettes. But since I'm only doing the one palette, I'll give you a few swatches. I'll do the silver shade, the pink shade, the gold, and my, I want to do the black so I want to see what the black's going to be like. Oh, the really creamy. Please do mind my terrible fake tan. I need to wash it off tonight. That's the gold shade. That's the pink shade, the silver shade, and the black. Okay, I am already impressed by these. These are swatched amazing. The first shade I'm going to take is this light shade up here. And I'm just going to take this with 
a Zoeva Luxifying Crease, a 224 brush. I'm just going to dip into that and pop it above my crease. Once that is all blended out, I'm thinking of going into... There's not really any lighter colour between these two shades. I want so I can easily blend these two in. So I might go ahead and grab my Morphe palette. I'm just going to take my Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe and take this shade here, which is Mocha. And I'm just going to add that into my crease just to add some definition, but not too crazy dark. Yeah, I'm going to focus this in my crease and my outer corner. Going back in with my other brush, I'm just going to dip into that, that lighter shade from the palette. I'm just going to go across the brown to add that back into the look so it's not so harsh. To deepen out my inner corner and my crease, I'm going to take this shade here with the same Luxe Petite Crease from Zoeva. I'm just going to tap that in at first. Then once I'm happy with it, I'm just gonna do circular motions into the crease. Taking my flat angled Glamour brush, I'm gonna take my Revolution Concealer, I'm gonna use this to cut my crease. Now that I have cut the crease, I'm gonna go in with that gold shade we swatched earlier and that's just going to go all where I put my concealer. I want to add a little bit of sparkle to my lid so I'm going to take my Revlon Photo Ready IR in the shade Shadow and I'm going to be taking the glitter side of it and taking my Zoeva, one, my Zoeva 315 Fineliner Brush I'm going to dip into that and then I'm just going to line my crease. And to add more sparkle to the lid, I'm going to take my Beauty Creations Glitter in the shade Peachness and taking that same brush, I'm going to dip into that and put it where I put my liner. I'm just going to do the exact same thing in my other eye and I'll be right back. Just letting you guys know I still am sick so if my voice does keep changing throughout the video, I'm so sorry. But um. <coughs> But I did go ahead and pop on mascara, eyelashes and eyeliner off camera. I didn't do a wing or anything, I just lined my lash band. But I'm going to move on to primer next. I don't have any new primers to try out. But I have recently been loving the NYX Pore Filler Primer. So I feel my pores have been showing up really badly lately. Especially on my nose and my forehead. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my fingers and squish it together. The consistency is quite weird. But I love how this primer has been making my skin look. It just feels in all my pores, but in a good way, not a bad way. It makes my skin feel very smooth, which I love. I always gonna pop that in my T-zone area. For foundation now, I do have a tan happening. So I'm gonna take my Fit Me foundation in the shade 220. I'm going to pop some of that on. I'm going to put my damp beauty bundle. It's a bit orange. So I might pop on a few of my NYX foundation drops just to lighten up my foundation. Next we have concealer and today I'll be using the Revelation Conceal and Define Concealer. I've been obsessed with this concealer ever since I used it in my last video, my Revelation to see Out video. This concealer never lets me down. Just amazing. It's so affordable as well, which I love. I'm going to take my beauty blender, I'm going to start to blend it in. I just realised I did have a new concealer. 
I was gonna test out the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I've heard Stephanie Toms, she's another YouTuber. I've heard her go on and on about this concealer, so I really wanted to try it out for myself. I'm so mad I didn't try it. I might just put like a little bit on underneath my eyes, see what it's like. It comes in like a little tube. I'm gonna put some on my beauty bundle. Oh, this reminds me so much of the NYX Got You Covered concealer. It's so like thick and sticky. Yeah, you will not be seeing any darkness on my face at all. Wow, look at that coverage. And I've already got concealer on the side as well. I could not get over that. That is insane. <laughs> my next product that I'm gonna be trying out today, I'm so, so excited for, because I, my Laura Mercier translucent powder just ran out. And two, I've seen so many people rave on about this. I'm so excited to try it. It is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. And I got mine in the shade Sugar Cookie because it was the lightest shade they had left in stock and I just wanted to try it, so I'll like, stuff it. I'll grab it anyways. Oh, that smells so good. Yum. I don't even know what it smells like, it just smells good. And I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna dip into the powder. That just melted into my skin, that was really nice. I might see what it's like with a brush. Jesus, my under eyes are looking so damn light. <laughs> it does feel really dry underneath my eyes, I will say that. So I still prefer my Laura Mercier, but it is still quite good. I'm now gonna set my whole face with my Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder. I'm just gonna take my big fluffy glamour brush and just set my whole face. I'm just gonna finish off my eyes. The first shade I'm gonna go in with is that light shade at the top that we first started with. And I'm just gonna blend that underneath my eye. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is that dark shade in the bottom corner. And I'm still gonna take the same brush, which is my Luxe Smoky Shader brush from Saweeva. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and run it across my waterline. And then I'm gonna take this angled brush from Eco Tools. I'm gonna take that black shade and just run it across my waterline even closer. Just so I can make it a little bit more smoky. Then I'm gonna blend that out with that previous brush we're using. For contour and bronzer, I got the Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette, which I've been dying to use. I remember seeing this years ago and I've always wanted it. But it looks like that. And I've also grabbed the Complexionista Palette from Benefit. And when you open it up, it looks like this. So it comes with the Hula Light Bronzer, the Hula Bronzer, two concealers and two highlighters. But I might go in with the Kat Von D palette first, just to contour. I'm gonna take my Big Edge Cosmetics number four brush and I'm gonna take this middle shade, Shadow Play, and probably a mixture of Sombre as well, just to get that perfect contour color. I'm thinking I might not use the Hula Bronzer just because I do have it as a single on its own. So I might just stick to my Cut Von D palette. And then I'm going to take my big fluffy BH Cosmetics number one brush from the Quartz set and dip into that middle shade. I'm just going to use this to blend out my harsh line. So I don't have any new blushes to try out, so I'm going to take my favourite, the Too Faced Flush Blush, the Love Flush Blush, Love Flush Blush, 
in the shade I Will Always Love You. I'm going to take this with my unicorn brush. It's just such a pretty colour. Love it. I do actually have a new setting spray to try out for you guys. I got it from the loot box at Mecca and it's the Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 setting spray. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. It is so freaking cute. But I'm gonna try this out. Mm, that smells like coconut. It smells so good. I do have two new highlighters I'm trying out for you guys. It's the Models Perfect Daybreak Ombre Highlighter, and I got the shade Half. Do they have shades? Yeah, I have the shade Half Life and the shade First Life. They look like this. One's a bit more pink, and the other one's like a purple white color. And since I'm not going out anywhere today, I'm just gonna do one color on one side of my face and the other color on this side of the face. So I'm just gonna find my highlighting brushes. So on one side, I'm gonna use my Morphe Y14, and I'm just gonna dip into Half Light. I'm probably just do like the whole thing, try and mix it together. It is really pink, so it doesn't go off the look. I just wanna try it out for the sake of the video. Wow, for a drugstore highlighter, that is nice, especially coming from Modest Prefer. Wow, that's so nice and blinding, it like melts into your skin. And there's like no weird cast. Wow, that's so nice. On the other side, I'm gonna like take a clean highlighting brush and I'm gonna take First Light. I might just do like a full swipe of that. So this one's a bit more purple. Oh wow. Modus Prefer has really stepped up their game for a highlighter. Now I wouldn't really wear these on a regular basis. For like a festival, this would look absolutely stunning. Wow. It literally looks ice on my face. Now a lip combination I've been recently loving. So I got the I Heart Revolution retractable lip pencil type pen thing. And this is really, really good. I forgot to test it out in my Revolution video. But yeah, I really adore this. I like to use this shade, it's like, what shade do I use? I use this shade here, it's like a light pink shade. And what you do, you wind it so the plastic comes down, and you line your lips. And then I like to go in with the darkest shade on it as well. And just do my outer corners. It looks a bit crazy at the moment, but then you take the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink Lipstick in the shade 55 Driver. I go over the top with that. And I find it just creates the nicest nude lip. So here we go boys and girls, this is the final look for my first impressions video and honestly I loved every single item. It just, everything just worked out perfectly, the eyebrows, eyeshadow, the concealer, the concealer was amazing and the highlighters, like are you kidding me? These look absolutely stunning and I am obsessed. So thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I promise the next video will be something different. But I just want to show you guys all the products I'm getting. Because I just keep constantly buying makeup that I don't need. But I just think I need. But who doesn't like a testing out video? Because then you get to see my opinions. And then you get to see what you think might work good for you. 
But yeah, I hope everybody has a lovely, lovely week. And I hope I see you all next video. See you guys.